Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube's history. This is Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with a crucial update as it concerns John Cena's injury, his prognosis, and something new that has come up. WrestlingInc.com noted that John Cena told fans after last night's WWE live event in North Charleston, South Carolina that he was suffering from a legitimate groin injury. PW Insider reports that while the knee injury was a planned angle on Monday's Raw, this was not planned. However, John Cena did in fact suffer a severe groin injury. Cena was said to be pretty bad off backstage at last night's live event, but was gutting through it because of WrestleMania season. Word is that WWE wanted to give Cena the night off, wanted to give Cena some time off from live events this weekend, but John Cena refused. Cena felt that the fans expected him to be there and that he had to show up as advertised. He was not about to let the people down because he has such a passion for going out there and competing despite the injury. Well, this is where John Cena is gutting it out. This is where he's going into the next millennium of his career. That's why John Cena is going to be one of the most renowned, uh, you know, one of the toughest SOBs in the company. And you can say what you want about CM, about CM Punk and Daniel Bryan, but John Cena always comes walking that line. He comes back from injury. He comes back from surgery way sooner than expected. You cannot question John Cena's will to win. You cannot question John Cena's power, his will, his desire. You cannot question John Cena's toughness. Pound for pound, John Cena is one of the toughest WWE superstars, but in this aspect, is this more guts than brains on the part of John Cena? Because with Cena working with this groin injury, this is going to halt his performance. I mean, already people, you know, talk about how Cena's performance isn't worthwhile and that, you know, he, he, he gives 100%, but he's not a great wrestler in the ring. He's not a good worker. He's not a Daniel Bryan. He's not a CM Punk. Listen, John Cena was never meant to be an indie wrestler. John Cena was never meant to be a high flyer. John Cena was never meant to have over a thousand holds and maneuvers uh, if you combine CM Punk and Daniel Bryan's repertoire of maneuvers, okay? John Cena was never supposed to be that guy. John Cena's smash mouth in your face. He's, you know, he's he's he's, he's a bodybuilder. He, you know, he's, he's about strength. He's about toughness. He's about determination. But listen, this isn't about John Cena winning and losing. This isn't about John Cena hogging the spotlight. This is about John Cena's toughness and showing you that John Cena does not give up and he does not back down you know see John Cena really does live by those words and it's just not words because they sound good it happens to be true so you can say whatever you want about John Cena at the end of the day but he's got the strength he's got the passion he's got the power he's got the desire and he has that toughness that you don't see today in WWE you have other superstars that will get a, a groin injury or they'll get an arm injury or they'll have a headache or they'll have the flu and they'll say oh I don't feel like competing I don't feel like going out there I don't feel like giving that extra oomph to give these fans what they want, but John Cena always goes that extra mile. John Cena always goes that extra initiative, and with it being WrestleMania season, John Cena's both legs could be amputated, and he would still somehow, someway show up and be a part of the show. Your comments and your opinions. Subscribe.